Hello, my name is Voya and welcome to my deep guide. Well, it's a January update to the Re-Inkstone slash Topjoy Butterfly story, which are the uh, Kickstarter campaigns that were tittering on borderline scammy or not scammy. What are they? Are they going to ever finish things or not? Got delayed for over a year and things like that. But there is finally some development on both of the devices, <laughs> kind of, sort of. Not only that good, but at least some better information as far as Re-Inkstone at least goes, and some worse information as far as Top Joy Butterfly goes. So let's do a short cover of this news blip regarding these two devices. So first let's cover the Re-Inkstone, and the major development is that after our, uh, September, October, November, December, so four-ish kind of months of complete silence from Re-Inkstone, they have actually started to ship some of the units to some of the users. Now, not all of the backers are receiving it. Some, it's a very similar story, like with the Top J Butterfly. Some users are receiving their notification that it, here's your tracking number, but it's not being picked up for over a month, and it's not even delivered. Not not delivered, but it's the, the the carrier hasn't really received the package for well over a month, so they don't have anything to deliver. While others people don't even receive an email or an, a, a tracking confirmation number, and the package just arrives. So it's a complete mess as far as that goes, which is not a surprise. But the big news is that some of the independent users and the backers are actually receiving the device. And their impressions are, you can actually kind of condense them to a fairly standardized type of thing, which is uh, they like how the unit looks and it seems like it's built well, which is a good thing to see. And most of the people just kind of go to the point where it's the summary is Looks like a great device. There's a ton of ghosting, which is a problem with the DES screen, but even if they wanted to, they could live with it, but the software state of the software is so janky that basically, uh, yeah, they, they, the users themselves describe it as, as it is right now as not something that they can use and things like that, which is unfortunate because after such a long wait, um, it would have been nicer if, if something more was uh, coming out. So. We'll see if they have resources and uh, competence, competency enough to actually do an update. And if somebody does receive an update, we will see. Definitely, I, as I said, I'm not a reading stone backer, so I won't be able to bring you an independent review of that. Uh, maybe there was one user who actually offered to send a unit for me to, to review it, and then I send it back. So I'll take a contact with that person, and then we'll see, because I think it would be worth it to actually check out the uh, Ringstone R1 to know what's it all about after such a long wait. And now on to the top joy butterfly. And the top joy butterfly when it was a more positive type of a story because there was more updates and they seemed to be a little bit more transparent than Ringstone all up until the point when they actually started to deliver things when it went into radio silence because the first users who started receiving their devices back in October already some even in September, um, they reported <laughs> the various technical difficulties and inconsistency in quality, terrible build quality, problems with the screens and all these things. And it was so bad that basically Top Joys themselves, I reported on this before in November, that they basically said like we stopped shipping before we understand how to resolve the issues that we have because a lot of users were reporting a lot of issues such as uh, smudges on the screen and things like that. So basically an utter and complete mess. And since then, complete radio silence from Top Joy Butterfly. People are not receiving their units, they are not communicating at all, and there's like zero information on what is actually going on. And at this point, it's a 50-50. It could be like dead in the water, like a like not not expect to get your unit. I certainly am at this point not expecting to see my unit ever arriving to me in any kind of state. That's basically what I'm expecting. But there's a there's a 50% chance that it just might appear in a doorstep because it does like that to other people. So 
no idea really really no idea there so that's basically that that's that's a, it's a mess on both of them uh, it seems like re -Ink Stone is delivering a little bit more than Top Joy, but generally speaking, it's more or less the same thing. And less people are complaining with the re -Ink Stone with the technical problems with the screen than they are with the Top Joy Butterfly. So, from the initial reports, it seems that as both devices are real, but it's a completely janky type of production. They've barely managed to hobble these things together. Uh, build quality seems to be better on the re Inkstone than on the Top Joy Butterfly. Software um, capabilities and software state is catastrophic on both of them. And there's very little security here that either of the uh, devices are going to have a living ecosystem that's going to be supported and things like that. So not a great story whatsoever, which ultimately is not really a surprise when you when you follow this story with over a year of delay and just all of these things. I mean, how else could it end? But at least I think it was important to follow it through. And I'm going to try also to get my hands on a Top Joy Butterfly device as well to bring you an independent in-depth review of that unit as well so that we can round up this whole story and just leave it as a cautionary tale to be careful what you back on Kickstarter and what you back on Indiegogo. Uh, backing projects is great and it can turn out great, but it can also turn out really, really bad. And a lot of people have invested quite a bit of money into these devices and I felt it important to actually follow through with these things, at least within this field of e-ink or paper technology, digital paper technology that we cover on my deep guide. I hope that you found the video interesting or useful. If you did, please like and subscribe and ding the notification bell down in the description below to get notified when new videos come out on my deep guide. I also invite you to check out the mydeepguide.com slash shop where you can find the My Daily Organizer 2023 or MDO 2023, which is a hyperlinked PDF file that is uh, designed, carefully designed and made to cover all of your personal or professional organizing needs for a year, quarter, month, week, day, doesn't matter. And tons of users are really, really happy with it. So I invite you to check out the MDO playlist or check it out on the shop and see if this is a product for you or not. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy and see you in the next video. Bye.